Designers and manufacturers have made a huge number of improvements to the electric vehicles that they've created over the past two decades. They're now faster, smarter, more efficient, and have more technology than ever before. But sometimes, it doesn't work out that way. Maybe it's bad engineering, or perhaps the electric vehicles rush to the market too quickly. Sometimes it's a good idea brought to customers before it's time. In others, it's a bad idea at any time. In other cases, the vehicle's faults come from careless construction and cheap materials. No matter the reasons, there are plenty EVs that are rolling advertisements for the coffin industry. Luckily for you, you clicked on this video because today you're going to learn about 10 electric vehicles that you should never buy. The Fiat 500e with one of the worst driving ranges, a sluggish 0 to 60 time of 8.4 seconds, minimal cargo space, awkwardly designed interiors, and inadequate features. The Fiat 500e is a $30,000 EV no self-respecting car owner should buy. Not convinced? Well, there's one more thing potential buyers should be aware of, and that's the Fiat 500e's long history of sudden power failure. In 2014, Fiat recalled over 4,500e's due to defective power inverter cooling plates. These faulty cooling plates leaked engine coolant into the car's high voltage circuitry, resulting in a short circuit, causing the related service fuse to spontaneously explode into flames. This could lead to a loss of propulsion while driving at high speeds, increasing the risk of an accident. Then in 2016, Fiat recalled another 17,000 cars when the 500e's power inverter module was found to potentially cause voltage spikes which can cause the propulsion system to suddenly shut down, further increasing the risk of a fatal accident. As a result, in 2023, Fiat simply gave up and discontinued selling the Fiat 500e in North America. If found on the used car market, it should be avoided at all costs. The Chevy Bolt EVU Here's where the problem lies. For an EV priced above $30,000, it doesn't come with anything extra except the high probability of putting you in an early grave. Cause of death? High voltage electric shock. In 2023, Chevy recalled nearly 11,000 2022 and 2023 model year Bolt EVUs over a potential defect with their high voltage portable charging cords. General Motors says that this could increase the risk of electric shock, which could potentially injure an owner. The automaker describes this as being a, quote, very brief electric shock. The component, part number 24044913, was manufactured by Westbro Charging Systems and was part of the EVU's charging accessory package. The problem stems from a disconnect between the cable hardware and the software that controls it. GM claims that the software might fail to stop charging when a driver unplugs the car, which could cause a loss of ground connection, shocking the person holding the cable. While it sounds frightening, GM noted that if a shock did occur, it would only be brief, around 1 40th of a second. The automaker estimates that only a tiny percentage of the Volt EVUs are involved. But if you can, or think that you should inspect the problem yourself at home, Think again. The bulletin clearly states that the affected charging cords show no warning signs of defect, meaning owners should take their vehicles directly to a dealership for a thorough inspection or be prepared for a shocking result. Furthermore, the recall placed a strict embargo on dealers not selling any Bolt EVUs in inventory that have failed high shock voltage inspection. The Nissan Leaf not the most user-friendly nor cost-worthy. The Nissan LEAF is known for its unperforming nature. This includes a driving range of 149 miles on a full charge. And with the Plus model, you can expect a modest 226 miles of driving range, equipped with a standard 200 kilowatt battery. The base model costs close to $29,000 and goes all the way up to $39,000. And this EV is even slower than the Bolt EV. Then there are the sudden unintended acceleration and airbag failure problems. In 2023, Nissan recalled nearly 70,000 cars due to instances of sudden unintended acceleration, typically occurring at speeds of 60 up to 80 miles per hour, when drivers switch from drive mode to eco, regenerative braking, or e-paddle mode, all while disengaging cruise control, the Nissan Leaf sometimes accelerates unintentionally, increasing the risk of a fatal accident. The main cause of sudden unintended acceleration in the Nissan Leaf is corrupted software located in the EV's vehicle control module. Another common problem with the Nissan Leaf is that the passenger airbag sensors have a tendency to fail if involved in a high-speed collision, and that could be a serious safety concern since the passenger sensors tells the vehicle which airbags it needs to deploy if you're ever in an accident, based on where people are sitting in the vehicle. The other problem is that it can be difficult to know when the sensor has failed, because it's often a silent feature, leaving passengers unprotected. Thankfully, like all common problems with the Nissan LEAF, there aren't that many reports regarding airbag sensor failure, hopefully. The BMW i3 
By far one of the worst electric cars made by BMW, the BMW i3 cost nearly $50,000 and failed to deliver in almost every way. It came with a 42.2 kilowatt battery pack. In terms of driving range, you can expect a reasonable 153 miles on a full charge, and you also have the option of a range extender. If you were to shell out $50,000 on an electric car, you should at least expect an exemplary driving range. Another issue often reported by i3 users is that of weak motor mounts. Motor mounts are crucial in securing the electric motor on the car's chassis. When they fit securely, Securely, they dampen vibrations and produce noise. However, in the case of the i3, some owners have experienced challenges with motor mounts that are prone to failure and excessive wear. The leading cause of motor mount failure in the BMW i3 is when the rear wheels spin and abruptly gain traction. Such scenarios happen when you hit a bump and your car goes airborne. Because the material used to design the motor mount is made of cheap plastic, it can easily damage upon impact. Unfortunately, the impact not only damages the car's motor mount, but other electronic equipment as well, which could cause a fatal accident. And as you can imagine, fixing advanced German parts isn't cheap. It can cost you up to $5,000 to replace the i3's motor mount. Plastic mounts meant for replacement are available, but likely to face the same fate. For this reason, BMW recommends using aluminum mounts fitted with larger bolts. Efforts to solve the problem led to BMW updating its software to reduce motor torque when the wheel goes airborne. Nevertheless, owners keep reporting the issue. And of course, we can't forget the i3's battery failure issues. Although the i3 is an electric vehicle, it's still relies on a traditional 12-volt battery to power auxiliary systems such as lights, infotainment, and other electronic components. In cases where the 12-volt battery unexpectedly fails are numerous with this car. In such cases, the vehicle can fail to start, leaving owners stranded. Unfortunately, the implications of a failing 12-volt battery go beyond inconvenience. It could result in unplanned repair costs, loss of trust in the vehicle's reliability, and incidental towing expenses. To mitigate the issue, owners are forced to conduct regular battery checks and are often left paranoid about proper charging. Overall, we must say that the i3 is definitely not worth the $50,000 price tag, and like the Fiat 500e, it would be better to avoid buying used, if at all. The Mercedes-Benz EQS The Mercedes-Benz EQS is a technological showcase for the EV car market. It has a generous driving range, an extra high-tech infotainment screen, and a plethora of advanced driving assistance systems. It's tantalizingly quick, has an impressive-looking cabin, and rides in comfort and serene silence down the road. It's also probably one of the most expensive EVs you can buy, with an average price of over $100,000. That being said, owners are often left frustrated with the EQS's super distracting controls and odd-feeling brakes, both of which leaves owners questioning if they want to live with the car on a daily basis. Then there are the fire and sudden power failure issues. On February 25th of 2022, Mercedes-Benz recalled 24 EQS models over concerns that loose wiring connections can cause a vehicle fire. The issue stems from a ground connection problem on the EQS's front left longitudinal member, as well as an improperly secured auxiliary heater connection, both of which can cause a short circuit, resulting in a vehicle fire and fatal explosion. Another recall occurred on June 5th of 2023, when Mercedes recalled 8,281 electric vehicles in the US due to a software issue with its propulsion system. System. The issue mostly affects the EQS sedan, but the automaker will also have to fix the EQS SUV and EQE. After receiving a field report indicating malfunction of the electric drivetrain, Mercedes launched a thorough investigation into the issue. The automaker had reason to believe that the driver of the vehicle may have lost propulsion, and therefore conducted a root cause analysis. Using detailed examination of field data, Mercedes determined that under certain conditions, a defective portion of its fault management response system could deactivate the electronic drivetrain, causing the vehicle to lose Lose power, increasing the risk of a fatal accident. Mercedes believes, though it has yet to conclusively determine, that the issue may be caused by contact with a certain plug connector within the EQS's electronic drivetrain. Unfortunately, due to the nature of the problem, the driver won't receive any warning of sudden power failure. But after the issue occurs, they'll see multiple messages in the instrument cluster. Fortunately, Mercedes isn't aware of any injuries, accidents, or fatalities stemming from this issue. Yet at least. The Mustang Mach-E the 2024 Mustang Mach-E crossover's connection to the 50-year-old Mustang Coupe is mostly about trading on name recognition instead of being a loud, racy muscle car. But that doesn't stop the EV Mach-E from being a quick, powerful, good-looking, and great-riding car. And the Mach-E just became a lot more affordable after the automaker announced a major price cut for the 2023 model year, bringing at least one version of the Mach-E below $40,000 for the first time. Unfortunately, the bad news is that even if you receive the price cut, you still have to deal with the EV's constant power failure. 
In June of 2022, Ford recalled 50,000 Mustang Mach-E's to fix a problem with the battery that could cause the crossover to suddenly lose power and even fail to start. The issue stems from the battery's main connectors, which have a potential to overheat. This overheating often leads to arcing and deformation of the electrical contact surfaces, which can result in a contactor that remains open or a contactor that wells closed. An overheated contactor that opens while driving can result in total power failure, which can increase the risk of an accident. The Porsche Taycan While numerous EV sedans can thrill you with insane straight-line performance, the 2025 Porsche Taycan blends that same effortless acceleration with sports car sharp reflexes. And this year, the most powerful model packs a massive 938 horsepower. But the Australian models have a tendency to spontaneously explode into flames. Increased fire risk has triggered a recall of the Porsche Taycan in the country of Australia. On October 9th of 2023, 231, 2022, and 2023 model year Taycans were recalled due to a manufacturing issue, where there was insufficient sealing between the high-voltage battery casing and the battery cover. This could lead to moisture entering the high-voltage battery, which can cause the battery's connections to arc, which increases the risk of a fire causing injury or death to the vehicle occupants or other road users or bystanders. 